What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Road Redemption. I had to take my headphones off because I, I was listening to the previous recording and I'm like, I'm talking a little bit loud and I think it's because the soundtrack in this game like really thumps. It's got a really awesome soundtrack. And so I think what is happening is I'm rocking the soundtrack and unable to keep my voice from going up to like really, really high velocity or like really, really high, just like, like I've got lots of projection going on right now. That's what my psychiatrist says anyways. Let's go and get some attack damage up, and I think I'm going to go with some beef jerky because our health is looking a little iffy, and plus it's always the right time for beef jerky. Since we don't have enough money left for anything else, I'm going to refill my nitrous while we're here because as we saw in the previous episode, that NOS brought us home in the final stretch. We wouldn't have won that last race were it not for our huge supply of nitrous. What are we doing right now? Mission, take down. What if I launch them into the air with explosives? Would that count as a take up or how would that work? Because, oh, oh I got gotcha. you. Don't run. Don't run. Just let it happen. What I like to do is basically I'll set my cursor like that right there and I'll let it cross people. And the second that it crosses people, I'll click and take them out. I don't know if that's how other people use mounted combat in video games, but that's how I do it. So it's so that I don't have to aim. Basically, I just line it up and then I allow, I allow the curvature of the road to line up the shot for me. Now, obviously, sometimes you're going to have to like, oh no, they were trying to box me in. And I will not be boxed right now, sir. It is not UPS and you are not a UPS employee. I see no shorty shorts on any of you. None of you right now. So, you know what? Bring forth the shorty shorts or you won't box me in. I'm going to take the Uzi instead of the tactical axe. I like guns in this game. I really sincerely do. When they put in competitive mode, I'm a little bit interested to see how they're going to deal with the fact that guns are like instant kills on people. Very interested to see how they're going to balance that in the PvP mode. This is one of the few games that I've ever played that I actually feel like I'm going to spend a lot of time becoming competitive at it and getting really, really good at it. I, I haven't been able to put it down. It's the weirdest thing. I've played this game so much over the last couple days. Number 12. Sorry to do... Oh, I missed. No. Sorry to do that to you, buddy, but get off my road. You too. Hold on, hold on. There we go. Off he goes. We'll kick that guy off. And then I'm going to take this turn real tight. That's the secret to the rooftop missions is you got to take that turn. Those little turns right there. If you don't take them right, it's definitely going to mess with you, although I screwed that one up royally. All right. Well, I'd rather screw something up royally than peasantly. Peasantly is pretty close to pleasantly, though, so if you're just like a peasant with an extra L, I guess you could upgrade. All right, we got... I got you. Oh, not in my house. Not in my house. You don't write up point blank on me when I've got an Uzi. Mm-mm. The only way this could get worse for you is if I had like a Mac 10 or something. Ow. Bastard. Oh, I have so many bullets. I was like, I have fired this gun a lot. There's no way I have that many bullets left. There we go. Get rid of... Well, almost get rid of the remaining competition. And now I'm in first place. Hooray! I love being in first place. Off we go. It's a race. I am winning. And so off we go. We will go on the race. Ooh, we got like a bomb squad guy up here. He wants to duke it out. He wants to He wants to be the slugger. He wants to bring it. He ain't got nothing to bring, though. I don't see a package. I don't see a truck pulling up. I don't hear a rumble. You don't have any deliveries. Get on out of here. But yeah, once this game comes out in competitive play, I may actually, like, record my games against other people and stuff. Because I like this game a lot. And it's strange because I don't like racing games that much, but I like this racing game. I like this racing game a lot. I also hope that they put in customizable riders so that you can customize your helmet and get, like, the mohawks and things that screw into them. Just all kinds of fun stuff right there. I think I'm going to go with a machete instead of the shovel, and you'll have to forgive me. Apparently I left a browser up in the background, which is all kinds of special on my part. Let me remedy that real fast. There we go. All nice and fixed up. You don't have to hear people go bing ding every couple seconds sending me messages. I want to go with... Let's go with experience gain up. Since we're trying to graduate into New Game Plus as fast as we can, I think I'm going to focus on getting as much experience as we can while we play the game. Really, we got another takedown mission. We've been really, really fortunate with these takedown missions because I don't find these to be that difficult, especially considering I typically have a weapon. Oh, that grab did not work the way it was supposed to. I think I got him with that. See what I mean? Sometimes the grabbing is a little finicky in this game. Sometimes the grabbing, sometimes it works flawlessly and then other times it feels like you really got him, but then it just doesn't come home. I don't know. Maybe things just don't want to come home with me. I guess that is the possibility here. Why are there no gun sounds being played right now? That's weird. I'm going to try and take out as many people as I can. I like how when you kill people, it makes like a Mario... Hooray for you, you just picked a power-up type sound. There we go. Got him this time. And I'm going to try and put him off the track, although I don't even know if that'll work. It's worth an attempt, I guess. That guy's got a broadsword, which is terrifying. All right, come here, McLeod. 
There we go. Get rid of you. Ow! Stop hitting me in the face with bats and blunt objects. I know I'm trying to run you into oncoming traffic, but seriously, though. But really, though. Oh, you got it now. Yep. I got you, too. I got you, too. Don't worry. I forgot you. Oh, where's traffic? Where's traffic? Oh, man. We didn't have enough traffic to finish that one off. Although, it looks like somebody died anyways. I don't know. Ah, I missed that one. Oh, we're about to get clubbed. We were about to get clubbed. Ow. Well, no! Almost got it. No! Oh, yay, I'm not dead! Hooray! Jump jets. There's also Apaches up in the air. I've never destroyed any of the Apache helicopters or whatever the hell helicopters those are. Oh, good. We got the cop mission. I like the machete. I like the pipe. I like the axe the least out of all of those. I like everything that we have in our equipment right now, but we need a gun for sure. We need a firearm of some kind. I'm going to go with weapon durability, extra attack damage, and I guess health gain up because we have the extra money to spend. If I was trying to be super pro, I would save the money in the hopes that in a later mission we'll end up getting a convert cash to XP turn in. But we haven't got one yet, so okay. So we want to attract the police. Well, then I assume that means just wearing like, select, like sexy police Halloween outfits, right? I don't know. Nobody likes my sexy police officer outfit. They all tell me things like, Ugh, put on pants. Ugh, you don't know how to walk in high heels. People are such prudes sometimes. Yeah, got him. Oh, I'm so excited. I like that shot. That shot made me really, really happy. I don't know why mass murdering people with a grenade launcher is so entertaining to me, but it really sincerely is. I should actually probably fight some of these guys until we get a better option in front of us. There we go. There's one down. Take him out too. Taking out the cops, you definitely want to focus on the cops. It raises the police level faster. Right here, I think we've got a crime of opportunity. There we go. We got him. Take them out too. Police level's looking good. I just got hit with a billy club. That's no good. Billy's club needs to stay where it's sheathed. I don't want that anywhere near me. I'm almost halfway through the level, though, so we got to get our police level up a little bit higher. Cars flying everywhere. Chaos in every direction. Take them out with the grenade launcher in the same way that I recommend you do it, which is jumping up in the air and firing downwards. That is by far my favorite strategy for maxing out your score on this level and making sure that you get the optimal amount of cash for what it is you're doing. Now, that right there, I was fishing. I was really, really fishing with that one. Oh god, we almost got taken out by a savage Humvee, which is so much worse than the normally tame Humvee. This guy right here is going to want to fight with us, as is that guy. I'm going to try and get the Humvee because it's worth a lot of money. And then let's get back on the pipe right now. Giggity. And I think that I will fight people hand to hand from now on. Let's take this one real tight and inside. I think I can duck this traffic right here. Yeah, there it is. The perfect ride. The perfect ride. I should learn how to play this with an Xbox controller because you've actually got a... You've got a you've got a sensitive key press when you do that, basically. Ow, I'm just getting whooped up on. Oh, that was my own teammate that just hit me with that. You idiot. Get out of here. I hate you. Ah, I missed that one right there. I'm trying to duke it out with people, but, you know, I don't know. I haven't had breakfast yet. Nothing's getting the system moving, so unfortunately, duking it out is... It's moving slowly. I need my coffee, then I'll duke it out. Duke it out hard. I don't drink coffee. Don't like it. Never acquired a taste for it. I've tried it four or five times now throughout my 20s. And every time I have hated every moment of it. I've just been like, mm, why do people do this to themselves? I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I'm glad you like coffee, but it don't, it don't do it for me. I don't know. We only got a couple grenades left. I don't even know if it's worth it to like hold on to these. Off the mountain! It's kind of peaceful until you hit the ground. <laughs> just floating through the air. I don't know. It's, it's peaceful to me. What we got going on right now? Oh, it's the jump jet mission. Okay, so we're just going to be jumping over stuff right now. Getting off our seat and jump around. I think I'll probably go for Max Nitro up because we are going to be going up against Rainbow Road pretty soon. Cash gain up, not that big of a deal. But there's nothing else that we can slot in right now, so I guess I'll just go for it. Let's use our jump jets, shall we? What I like to do is I actually like to miss those jumps right there and just jump over them a little bit with my jump jets instead because sometimes you get too much lift from those jumps and it actually puts you in a disadvantageous position. It puts you in a position... A disadvantage, disadvantage. It puts you at a disadvantage. Oh my god. I am just murdering the English language right now. Disadvantageous. See, if I don't have a word, I'll just make one up. That's been my problem throughout the course of my life. If I can't think of the word that I want, I'll just make a new one up and just be like, Yep, there it is, right there. Enjoy. Across we go. I wonder what happens if you shoot those Apaches. Oh, they took my... I do have the spear gun. I haven't showed that off at all. So the spear gun allows you to attach like a grappling hook to things. I don't know exactly how it works. I fiddled with it a little bit, but let me see if I can... It looks like it has drop to it. 
Yeah, it looks like it has drop to it, so I don't even know if my plan can work right now. I wanted to swing by the helicopters, and I didn't know if it would work or not. I'm sure there's some pro player out there who's doing this, like... Let me see here. Oh, it did work! That was so metal! Oh, it reels you in? Oh, hell. What have I done? Okay, so it's reeling me into something. I don't know what it's reeling me into, but it's definitely reeling me into something. Oh, it pulls you forward. Okay. So I get it now. You can use it to boost through things. But you got to remember to detach it, too. I'm Spider-Man. I'm Spooter-Man. Enjoy my motorcycle adventures. Okay, so the grappling hook. I don't use it that much, but apparently if you shoot it in front of you, it'll allow you to drag off things. Ammunition up for sure. I want weapon durability up, and that's going to be it for me. I don't hear the telltale music of the rainbow zone, so I don't think we're there just yet. I think we got another couple races in front of us before we get there. All right, so I got no weapons with any durability on them left. I just took that guy. Oh, no. How disappointing. I'll get him with the second swing. Oh, we've got a katana. Oh, I'm so happy about the fact that we have our katana. Get out of here. Get out of here. There we go. Got our Masamune. Our Masamune, as I used to call it when I was like 11 playing Final Fantasy. I'm going to get this. The Katana is fantastic because it does a lot of damage and it's super fast. It's like the greatest weapon ever. The downside is if you haven't upgraded your passive durability, it tends to wear out really fast. Especially if you've been pairing a lot with it. So be aware, it won't always be there for you. It's a little bit fickle like that. I'm just going to boost around this corner like so because I feel like that's a little bit... Oh, we got dynamite on the field. All right. So we got to watch out for all those hazards that are flying around. I haven't even seen any of the other racers, so I'm not sure what's going on right now. Have you seen any of the other racers? I haven't seen any other racers here. I'm starting to wonder if our track is bugged. I think it might be. I don't know. I haven't seen anybody flagged as like a member of our race team right now. I mean, the worst case... Oh, he's got a katana. Oh, there's a place. Oh, I was just way behind, I guess. All right, so halfway down the field, and we've got a lot of ground to make up. So let me, I'm going to boost since we've got nasty, nasty lumberjack hazards all over the place. I'm going to get a firearm out in just a second. We do have, ah, that one got me, unfortunately. I tried to boost over it at just the wrong moment. Luckily, it got everybody else, too, so it's not that big of a deal. That actually probably solidified our position in fifth place. I'm gonna watch out the frame rate. There's a lot of explosions going on right now, and whenever there's explosions, my frame rate is just like, I don't want to play anymore. And so, unfortunately, you'll have to forgive me for that coming up right now. Ah. Come on, boost through it. You could do it. I believe in you. Kind of. Sort of. Alright, around that corner. Oh, God, had to lean into that one. Almost lost it right there. We're in third place, which at least means we get to advance. If we can bring this one home. You can maneuver your motorcycle in midair in case you're wondering about that. You totally can, so. Ooh, that one hit me. It dealt damage, but it didn't knock me off my bike. As long as it didn't knock me off my bike, I don't care. As long as I'm still in the saddle, I'm happy. Take him out. Where's first place at? I don't see him anywhere. I think first place must have jammed this thing in. Yeah, first place took that. Whoever was in first place just put in shag carpets, rolled all over it, peed on it, just made it their own. They're like, this is mine. I lay claim to this. You can have second place, first loser. And I was like, okay, I'll be first loser, I guess. Level 11, what do we got going on right now? Well, we've got experience gain up. That seems all right. We've got health gain up. I think I'll probably recover my nitrous. And then let's go with health gain up, I guess. I don't like to rely on criticals. That's just not me. That's not me. It's not what I like to do when I do my playthroughs. And so this is a takedown mission, which is still going to be a little bit sketch. So these little red guys, I am not a fan of. So unfortunately, I'm just going to cash in my gun right now. And I'm going to get rid of them the old-fashioned way. And then I'm going to get run over by traffic because I'm looking over my shoulder. The game needs a button you can push to look over your shoulder. It doesn't have one right now, but I'd love a rearview mirror. I would absolutely adore a rearview mirror key that would allow me to see, like, what's behind me real fast without having to whip the camera all the way around. There we go. He didn't go down. He had a lot more armor than I expected. I had to make sure that I punctured it well. Got that guy. Got a big group right there, so I'm just going to unleash the Daka on them. Ooh, we got a big old melee going right now. 
critical hit off right there. Another block. Ow. Actually, this might be a really good time to do that. And see how many people I can fish for. Ah, missed. There we go. <laughs> oh my god, I love the jump jets. This game becomes so much more fun once I have jump jets. Like, no joke. The second they give me jump jets, I'm just like, I love this game so much. The tactical axe? No, thank you. I don't really like the tactical axe that much. There we go. It sounds like we are on Rainbow Road. It sounds like things definitely got a little bit happier in our vicinity. I think I'm going to go for max nitro up. I'd really, I'd really, really prefer to keep my nitro high. And then we'll go for nitro gain up as well, just in case I take people out every now and again so that we can refill our tank a little bit faster if we need to. Let's get this thing rolling. And that is a literal saying. That is not, a, I'm not being metaphoric or figurative right now. Totally being literal. We need to get this thing rolling at a high velocity, hopefully. That guy blocked me. That guy fell off a cliff, so hooray for him, I suppose. All right, let's lean into it. All right, we got that turn nice and tight the first time. Just the way I like them to come in. Let me get rid of some of these competitors right here. Some of these people are going to be causing problems for me in the future. Get away from me, machete man. I don't want your edged weapon inside of me. No, thank you. Bad manners, bad manners. I also, ooh, I was able to bounce off him to make that happen. I'm happy about that. That worked out great. That worked out way better than I planned it. I didn't really plan on bumping into him, but, you know. If it comes down to not being saved at all versus being saved by chance, I'll take being saved by chance. So how many of you guys like C4? Anybody? Huh? C4? One guy's like, I like C5s. That's kind of like it. I'm like, no, that is not like it. That is a plane, sir. That is a plane. <laughs> he thought he was going to boost. He thought he was going to boost ahead of me. All right, let's keep it real tight right here. We're halfway through the track. We've got more than enough time to make up the ground that we haven't done. The unfortunate circumstance of where we're at right now is that one crash is really going to hurt us right now. If we go off the track, that's it. We're done. And I think I'm going to nitrous out of this situation because there's just too many people involved in that melee. Anytime the enemy blobs up, you really want to strongly consider just nitrousing your way out. Kill the nitrous right there because obviously... Yeah, every time. Every time with that wall. The AI, like, skips it by jumping, but if you get too much air, you break through the bottom of the map. And so, for example, this is fragile right here. If you get too much air and you try and jump over, like, sections of the course, you'll get yourself into a nasty situation where, oh my god, we're going over vertical jumps. Well, it's kind of horizontally, I guess. That guy. That guy right there just fell off. Oh my god. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Enjoy the flange! And there it is. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, we get to go up in the air. And jump jets. There's all the air you could have ever wished for. I love this track. Such a great game. I love this game so very, very much. I think I'm going to break this episode off right here. I know it's a little bit early, but I want to wait and see what people say about the series. Let me know how you feel about Road Redemption. If it ends up going into like a competitive MMR mode later on, I will definitely be playing. I'll definitely be competing as hard as I can. To be good at the game because I enjoy this game a lot. It's rare that I find a game that has competitive spirit in it that I desire to play and this is one of those games. So anyways, I'll see you next episode. Let me do my upgrades real fast actually. So I'm going to go for... I think I'm going to go for weapon durability just to get to bullets. And then I think I'm going to spend the rest upgrading bullets. We'll do the rest on durability right there. And then one on the bonus damage so that we deal more base damage. There we go. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Road Redemption. I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Take care out to everybody. And as always, I do from me to you.